Muslims are generally enjoined to do whatever is halal to promote the religion of Islam. Individuals, groups, are contributing their quota to the advancement of Islam. One of such groups who has made it a point of responsibility to do this is Nostret. Nostret, an educational and cultural advancement office, has over the years promoted educational and cultural development of Nigerians and Africans. The body has over the years organized several workshops and seminars in which educational materials, scholarship to indigent students, and drilling of boreholes were carried out. In order to avoid all these figures who will explain to us the of this conference from a different perspective in our time. So I don't want to take your much time. Just once again, I want to thank for all your participation and hope that everyone benefit as much as possible from this conference. In their quest to continue with their primary objectives, another seminar was held at Crescent University Abel Kuta on the 18th of May 2022, which is the first in southwestern Nigeria. How do you feel being the first state to host this conference in southwest? It's actually um, very remarkable because um, even Western education, this is where I started from. Uh, Ogun State is uh, uh, the first when it comes to education. And then when, when you have this type of thing happening, the first of its kind in uh, Ogun State, well, it's just um, remarkable and I'm happy to be part of, part of it. The conference, which was themed Muhammad, Peace Be Unto Him, an episode of peace, unity, and compassion could not have come at a better time, considering the high level of misunderstood perception on the teaching of Islam and the prophets. The conference, which was in two sections, began with the reading of the Holy Quran. <laughs> The short thing I have to say is on your behalf and on behalf of our brothers from Turkey, the Nusrat, who has organized this, to thank Almighty Allah for making our getting together today a reality. Secondly, to thank our brothers for the minute fits to honor our university, to collaborate with them and have this one, the first of its kind in Yoruba land. Do more of English and a little of Arabic. And that is how the hill of Fonsor. The youth in Kiram, the Ahalan, was Ahalan, and I had the head of the Alamin. Antum the youth in Kiram, the Karim and Dagiman, the Buddha and Yakram, the youth, Kama Alamana Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Several goodwill messages commending the organizers were delivered, amongst which was the Pro Chancellor of Summit University. Of Al Haji Abdurafiu Adisa Ibiti. We, as Muslims, 
we are the best creatures that Allah has put on the surface of the earth. All the challenges and mirrors. There is a link that is always missing. And that link is the linkage between the business community and the Umar. It is a missing link. And we have to correct it. And that is what Nusret is trying to do. Almighty Allah stands for nothing but peace. Our holy prophet Muhammad Sallallahu also stands for nothing but peace. The holy prophet Muhammad is an exemplar and perfect representation. And you can even call him Prince of Peace, the pride of the universe whose life is, was immaculate and whose character on impeccable. He came into this world as a mercy for all mankind. It gives me a pleasure to appreciate the organizers of this international conference. We are the people of high repute, members of academic community, distinguished personalities, and the prominent elites are gathered to achieve a common goal that's set by the Nusrat. My sincere appreciation goes to the founder of this great organization, offer his selfless efforts, resources spent, time devoted, and the mind committed before keeping this organization alive. Usali wa usali mu ala man ursile ila li insi wal jinni irsala tashri isala taklifin wa ursila ila jami il khalq jam a irsala tashrifin Sayyidina Muhammadin sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa ala alihi al tayyibin al tahirin al mubarakin وأصحابه الذين تركوا بلادهم وديارهم وزوجاتهم وأولادهم من أجل نشر الإسلام أولئك الذين أوصل الإسلام إلى أدغال إفريقيا وإلى آسيا وإلى أوروبا ومن يعمل عملهم اليوم كجمعية النصرة التي تركت بلدها لا سذاجة ولا فراغا لوقتها إنما خرجت تأييدا ونصرا ونشرا وتعاونا مع المسلمين في نشر هذا الدين الخالد. In uh, 2012, a conference like this was organized in Turkey in a city called Gaziantep. Alhamdulillah, I attended that conference. And they had hundreds of people from all over the world coming to this conference. And the members, I mean, those who attended this conference were shown an example of what this organization has been able to do for Islam. We were sent to Institutions that they had established, like the Al-Fatih University, a very big university for that matter. We were sent to houses where they had bought these houses and brought students from rural areas in Turkey and given them scholarships. They are feeding, they are accommodation, they are, they are studies, and they made them to study subject areas where the Turkish community actually needs. We would like to appreciate the organizers of this conference, Nusret, the team of which we would want to say and note that is apt and is coming at a time when we think the Muslim Ummah, the Ummah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, that the Quran has said, Kuntum khayra ummatin ukhrijat linnas. We need to take back a look into the time of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the character of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and his sahabas, especially as we are in the contemporary times, it is time for us to understand this man, this noble messenger of the Prophet ﷺ. We have known him. We are knowing him. We will continue to know him. We need now to put into uh, our character, into effect, into implementation, 
our daily lives. How did he live his lives? Because indeed, if anything goes wrong in a society, it is the women folk that are the receiving end. This, on this platform, we beseech Allah to assist the Ummah of the Prophet Sallam to understand him better and start to put into practice his model of character. Addressing the theme of the conference, several paper presentations by invited scholars were delivered. This was moderated by Professor Amidu Olale concerning Vice Chancellor of Fountain University, Oshogbo. The impediments are the fact that uh, when the human nature tries to override our feeling, we forget about religion. For instance, now somebody wants to remain, we have an association or a society, they must know that I am the leader. And while we vie for leadership, we don't care what happens to the other people. This is not what the prophet teaches us. He says that when you have two or three people, choose one of them as your leader. And once you have a leader, listen to him and obey him. And if everybody wants to be a leader, who will be the followers? And therefore, we must have in mind that that personal ego is something that we must try to control so that we have a more humane, humane society. Another impediment is the fact that uh, we form organizations and organizations just for personal aggravation. And that is not what the prophet teaches us. We must focus on what we want to form only to serve Islam and to serve Almighty Allah. And if these are impediments, what are the consequences of these impediments that we have? The consequences of the impediment that we have is that we will never be united. In Rahmatillahi Ta'ala, Man Talabaha Wajadaha, Woman Akhada Bimifati Haha Nalaha, Fi Ayi Kanin Wafi Ayi Hal, Wajada Sayyidna Ibrahim Ali Salam Finnar, Wajada Sayyidna Yusuf Ali Salam Filjub, Kama Wajada Fistij, Wajada Yunus Ali Salam Fi Batnil Hut Fi Zulumat, Wajada Musa Ali Salam Filyam, Wotiflun Rodia. مجرد من كل قوة ومن كل حراسة ووجدها أصحاب الكهف في الكهف حين افتقدوها فقال بعضهم لبعض فأو إلى الكهف ينشر لكم ربكم من رحمته ويهيئ لكم من أمركم مرفقا ووجدها رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم في الغار والقوم يتعقبونهم قائلا لا تحزن إن الله معنا إن المال والولد والصحة والقوة والجاه والسلطان تصبح مصادر قلق وتعب إذا أمسكت عنها رحمة الله فإذا فتح الله أبواب رحمته كان فيها السكن والراحة والسعادة يبسط الله الرزق مع رحمته فإذا هو متاع طيب ورخاء وفي الختام أقول الحمد لله الذي قدر لنا هذا اللقاء فما كان من توفيق فمن الله وما كان من سهو أو خطأ فمني ومن الشيطان وتوجه بخالص التحية والشكر والتقدير مرة أخرى لشركة نصرة ولجامعة كريسنت آملين من الله سبحانه وتعالى أن ينفع بكم المسلمين والعباد The Prophet of Islam was sent as a mercy to all mankind not a specific group or race Our no Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu was indeed a messenger of peace and compassion The beloved Prophet Sallallahu is the perfect creation of Allah and an ideal human for mankind The religion Islam which Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi practice itself bears the literal meaning peace and his teachings also established peace at all levels. Prophet of Salam defined Muslim as the one who offers salams, blessings of peace, to the other people whom they know and also to whom they do not know. This statement of the Prophet of Salam proves that he was the lover of peace and also he carries this message to all mankind. He says one day, Allah adullukum ala shay'in, idha fa'altumuhu tahababtun, abshu salama baynakum. Um, Muhammad epitomized good moral character and behavior. He was chosen by God, Allah, to teach the people about morality and righteousness and to worship Allah alone. Prophet is an exemplary who embraced peace and unity for his entire life, despite that he faced a lot of criticism by his own people. Muhammad وسلم, was deeply grieved that so many people rejected his message he was compassionate toward these people and desperately wanted them to be guided. But Allah reassured him, indeed, Muhammad, you do not guide whom you like, but Allah guides whom he wills and is most knowing of the rightly guided noble Quran at all times. 
He was concerned about the welfare of his people. He never took revenge for personal matters. The Prophet Muhammad once said, La yarhamullah man la yarhamun nas. Allah will not be merciful to those who are not merciful to people. We have not sent you, Muhammad, Wama Arsalinaka, Illa Rahmatan Lil Alameen. Everything about the Holy Prophet Muhammad revolves around Rahama at all times. We do not forget we are trying to strike balance between mercy and justice. And Allah said, Wama Arsalinaka, Illa Rahmatan Lil Alameen. Dialogue means uh, coming together different religious, different tribes coming together, then discussion, anything without any conflict, with peace and unity, even national anthem is this mission of peace and unity so we have to bring the together people, Muslim or Christian people, whatever, we have to give each other respect, my brother likes for example wearing white color, my brother wearing black color, I have to give respect to him, he has to give also respect to another person, also he has to give respect my religion I have to give also respect my, uh, his religion. It is the very important in society. The conference was also graced by Royal Father. To be honest with you, because because of the younger generation coming to Riwani. A job. I became a man by my brothers and sisters in Islam. I became a man by my Islam. I became a man by my brothers and Muhammadan Rasulullah wa yaqidi adnu ilayhi sajidan bi jabini The organizers and participants expressed their impression about the conference. The Nusrat uh, is, uh, as I said, is an uh, educational and cultural company. He is doing uh, education and uh, some uh, organizing conferences in all Nigeria since 2013 and he is focusing to dialogue with uh, with people around in Nigeria especially Muslim people and uh, we are as a member of the Nusrat we are trying to visit some sheikhs some uh, traditional leaders some academicians in university especially people who knows Arabic and we are giving them some gift, uh, I mean, is a magazine and some uh, books we are uh, doing as a Nusret. And also we are focusing mostly in uh, conferences about Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and his life, how we can practice it in our life. And we just want to do something for society of Nigeria and we want to benefit from their experience and we want to give them our experience well i want to encourage them to continue to do this this should not be the uh, first and only they should um, continue and uh, make sure that this um, gives the desired impact and i understand that uh, new threat has also been involved in some uh, charitable things um, giving um, out uh, maybe um, gifts uh, particularly uh, i heard that during ramadan um, there was iftar, and then there are some other things they've been doing, also organizing uh, workshops and then uh, things that can actually promote education and also promote um, um, Islamic faith. So I want them to continue to do this. Um, uh, they should not lose, lose focus. Um, uh, and then I think um, for people like us in government who we'll continue to give the right support because anything like this is worthy of uh, the necessary support for it to continue to go on and to, to, uh, for the organization to continue to grow. I feel that about uh, our Muslim brothers, as I am Muslim, so I feel that uh, they are very open mind about the dialogue, about the society, and also explain about the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam time, about the dialogue, about the how they are giving the respect to other people, either Christian or uh, Jewish, whatever. So they are giving the respect to each other. 
So uh, we have to also show the everybody about the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam way to other people, how he is behaving to other people. Also, we have to follow his sunnah. This uh, conference came at the right time when the society is at a very confused point about who is Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And I know that uh, this conference will have um, given us a very clearer picture of who is Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu the message he brought. We hope our similar local bodies will emulate this kind of gesture while wishing no threats, more giant strides in future affairs.